Hey guys, Yusuf here with the Collective Crew, and today I'm sharing a simple little tip in Microsoft Teams, which is collaborating Microsoft Teams with Excel. Super simple to set up, easy to use, but a lot of times people are not aware of this feature or maybe I've forgotten about it. And so I'm gonna show you how to easily set it up. What's great about Teams and Excel, the collaboration allows you to also collaborate with any guests you add to your tenant. So let's say if you invite guests into Microsoft Teams like clients or contractors you work with. Well, this is great because you can have an Excel as a tab in the channel that you're in with them and you can easily communicate and collaborate. So let's go ahead and set it up so you guys can see how easy it is to use. Let's say I have a channel, um, or a team rather, where I have various members from my company as well as guest users and I wanna collaborate on an Excel document and in this case, we're gonna say it's a status document. And I'm just using a random team channel here. And so what I'm gonna do is add it as a tab so it's easily accessible. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and upload that file. So in the file section, I can go ahead and upload, and I'm gonna do files. And I'm gonna select the status document I have. Now it's just a made up document with some whatever data in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and click the ellipses here and I can see that I can open it, I can send a link, copy the link and send it to someone or I can make this a tab and that's what I wanna do so I'm gonna select make this a tab. Now anyone in this channel can easily see this tab here and what's it makes it so much easier to use, you don't have to worry about multiple people in there because if there are people in here, you'll see you know, so and so is also viewing this document. If you use something like Google Sheets, it has that kind of similar feel. You can open it in a desktop. You can also check out the file so that no one else can use it just like you would in a SharePoint document library. And so this makes it super simple for you to keep collaboration easy within your team channel, it makes the document easy accessible. I can also do things like, let's say, I wanna make conversation, uh, sorry, I wanna make comments on task A, this line item. And so maybe I'll, I'll do it under selecting the status field and I just hit this little chat button, which it's just something available in Microsoft Teams, but I'm uh, sorry, in Microsoft Excel, but using it in Teams, it's not only easily accessible, but all your comments can be done right here. So I can go ahead and say, hey guys, what's the latest status? I can also do an app mention. And now I'll see this little chat icon. And so I can either click the chat icon and see all of them. I can see exactly what cell it's commented on, or I can go to that specific item and select it and people can now have a conversation back and forth. So this just, like I said, it makes it so much easier. Now let's say just in general, so that's how I can make my comments and make it more uniformed. I mean, I used to have status documents where people would just be making a column for replies and stuff. And so there's no need for all that extra amount of work. You can just collaborate right in there. But I can also do things that this is a active document that I wanna let people know there's been updates or anything like that. Instead of this comments icon in Excel, I can select the chat icon in Microsoft Teams and hit start conversation. By default, when you select that, it's gonna let you know, it's gonna post a message say, add a new tab top of this channel, here's a link. And I can say, hey guys, well, let me spell correctly. Hey guys, updates to the status doc have been made. Please review and send feedback by end of day. So what this does is now I have, if I go to post in my channel, this is gonna have this conversation within here. And so someone can go ahead and they can pin this conversation if they want, they can save it for later. You can see all the options here, so I can save this message. And that way, anytime someone's in here and you wanna just post status updates, it's all gonna be within one thread in that channel. And anytime someone comes in the status doc, they now have these 
specific infield conversations that they can go into with an Excel doc, but then they have the general teams post. And so this just makes collaboration so much easier. And like I said, if you work with people outside your uh, organization, like clients or vendors, anything like that, this makes collaboration easy. There's no need to send copies of the same Excel document back and forth over and over again. I mean, we've all been there and it's frustrating. And so this is a lifesaver. I hope this helps. I hope you guys can start collaborating without filling your inbox with files and files of the same Excel doc and just make online sharing so much easier. Hope this helps. And if you guys find this helpful, make sure to follow us, the collective crew on LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter, to stay on top of all your latest Microsoft Power Platform tips and any other useful information. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.